Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a RDA um, out of Canada, I believe, and that is the um, KRMA, or the Karma, I suppose, or the Karma, um, from Mission XV, or Mission 15. This was kindly sent along to me from Dean um, out of 4D Vape Co. Um, he said, would you uh, like to take a look at the KRMA? And I said, yes, thank you very much, Dean. And he nicely sent me one along. Now, it's a 22 mil atomizer, um, obviously designed with squonking in mind. It comes as standard with a BF pin installed. However, it does come with a little plug already actually stored in, in the bottom of the atomizer, which you just unscrew it. And then you can plug up your BF uh, pin now and it will turn it into a standard RDA. It comes with two top caps, one stainless steel, one Delrin as well. So you get a nice couple of top caps bang for your money straight out of the bag um, one obviously the Delrin is in black and the stainless steel obviously is that stainless steel nice shined color uh, it comes with two drip tips as standard on the uh, black Delrin it comes with an Ultim 6 mil bore uh, standard 510 drip tip on top and with the uh, stainless steel you do get a black Delrin as well um, it comes with, uh, it's got a nice big deep drew swell on this, uh, five mil in depth. You know, you've got dual airflow slots on the side. Um, we do have a, a couple of nice um, um, entrance points for your coil legs as well. You have one closed off leg and one open, so you can just slide one in and then slot the other one in as well. It makes building on it very, very nice indeed. Peak insulators as well. And uh, yeah, very, very nice indeed. Kind of a bit of hype that was surrounding this, you know, a few months back, you know, and people are still really enjoying it. And uh, it comes uh, as a nice price of 80 pounds from 4d vape co so uh you know the sub 100 pound mark for a very very nice atomizer like this one uh currently i've got this on the uh, custard mod and i'm just going to take a quick blast right now i've got um some nice coils that were sent to me from pc coils my friend peter there he sent me a bloody good alien um it's not actually going to be called that he just did it as a little treat for me uh, but these are a 0.4 ohm uh, single coil three times 29 one times 38 gauge alien claptons and uh i'm vaping it with some uh, uh, gorilla Jizz from our friend Billy at vapingking.co.uk. Lovely, very nice. Well, before I get into any more details about it, price, which I've already told you, but what I think about it and where to get it from, let's pop down to the table now. Let's have a little look at it up close. Let's bung a coil in it and then we'll come back and we'll give it a bloody good vaping. Safe. So upon receiving your KRMA or Karma, you'll get it in this nice little sort of clear plastic body bag, so to speak. Um, yeah, really kind of kind of quirky, really. So yeah, you'll get it in this and just unseal it and then you can remove your goodies inside. And once you've removed your bits and pieces from inside the said body bag, you get this nice little card here, authenticity card here, where you can register your product online. And also it gives you some ideas of uh, the materials used in creating the car KRMA. In the package, your KRMA comes with two top caps, one stainless steel and one with a uh, Delrin black top cap as well. You know, if you're going for low resistance and it's going to get a bit hot for you there, then you can switch to the Delrin also comes with your deck as well in the center there quite nicely packaged there you do get a little bag of uh, o-rings with your allen key as well and some spare grub screws for uh, your coil legs uh, they're actually put in there i tried to put them back to look all swanky but it made it look kind of fat so i left it out uh, but yeah kind of nice uh, nice packaging there nice and simple so uh, let's take a closer look at the atomizer itself so as you saw in the packaging, you do get two top caps with this as standard. The first one is the stainless steel one here, 22 mil in diameter, although we do taper up at the top there to give it that nice aesthetic look. Um, we do come supplied with two drip tips. On the stainless steel, it came supplied with the 6 mil bore uh, Delrin black drip tip there. It is a standard 510 connection, so you can use your own as well. Dual airflow slots on either side there as well. Inside, yep, nothing fancy, no reduction there, just a straight top cap as you were. But all in all, just a nice looking aesthetic top cap. 
Your next top cap is the Black Delrin, exactly the same in model, apart from the materials used in it. You know, like I said, if you're going to use um, low resistance or your vape's going to be a bit warmer, uh, then you'll be switching to this one. But you do get an autumn uh, six mil bore drip tip with that as standard. Again, you know, your dual air flows on either side, that same tapering upwards on the uh, top cap as well, and exactly the same on the inside. And here we are with your deck there. Nice, the first thing that struck me about this when I saw it was how deep the drip well was, how deep it was inside, you know. And uh, adjacent to where the uh, airflow slots sit, it's really going to be rather hard to over squonk this. I mean, you can over squonk anything if you're a prick about it. But I mean, it's a very, very deep, five mil actual in depth, that, uh, that drip well there. So a really, really nice... Um, a nice amount of uh, room there to be able to squonk freely without having to worry about it to get um, over yourself. And that also works in conjunction with these airflow slots as well. If you look on the side there, you'll see you have your airflow slots. I think they're about 4.5 or, or 4, just under 5 mil in height. But they do have that sort of slight little little top ledge up there. And uh, that's going to be able to, um, the air's going to come down and basically uh, your air is coming down that way. And basically it's going to make it very hard for you to over squonk. So I think that's really, really nice design on there. You know, the amount of times I've over squonked um, is, you know, I could barely count it. So uh, that's really nice indeed. You know, you do have on one side one open lead for... Or, uh, your lead for your coils one open slot on your um, on your slots there so that would be nice and easy just to slot one in and the other one is closed so you can basically just slot one leg in that side and just then easily fold the next one round so that makes it a lot easier to build you're not trying to get trying to push one leg in one way one in the other way and bending up your coil so uh, just pop one in one side one side in there and then you just fold the other one round your grub screws now they are a flathead screw i'm not too comfortable i'm not keen on flathead screwdriver uh, screws for little grub screws you know you always got to find that little bollocky screwdriver with the, the smallest sort of flat flathead on it but it is what it is they are in there i do have one most of us vapors do have one but sometimes i misplace mine i really have to use one that small but there you go on the bottom here, you can see you do have your MMXV uh, or 15 um, logo on the bottom there with your serial number as well. You've got this sort of nice sort of little print on the bottom there to uh, give it a nice little aesthetic look for their uh, sort of style that they use. You know, it does come standard with a BF pin. However, there is a small little grub screw right there. And you take that grub screw out, place it in the bottom, and that will turn it into a straight RDA. So, you know, that's kind of nice. Just try not to lose that. I mean, I don't take it out. I only use this for squonking. Um, that way I'm not going to bloody lose it. You do not get a spare one of those. However, you do get spare grub screws, of course, and O-rings, as I showed you. But you do not get a small sort of uh, RDA um, tool there, I suppose we call it. So basically, yeah, just unscrew it there, screw it into your uh, BF pin, and uh, Bob's your uncle. There you go, you have yourself an RDA. So that's very, very nice indeed. I like the way that's sort of an onboard system there. But just like I said, be mindful, us vapors, the moment we take out a little grub screw like that and hold it in your fingers, we ping it into the next town over. So uh, yeah, there you go. We've got two O-rings on the bottom here. Um, you know, gives it a nice firm grip on that top cap. Easy to turn as well for your airflow. You know, so uh, your top cap will go on. It will line up with your airflow holes, and they can turn nice and easy due to those uh, due to those O-rings there. Make sure you lube them up a little bit. Um, but there you go. It's very very nice indeed. You know, it works works really well. The airflow slots do sit up about. Uh, I'd say about three mil high, you know, they're nice and uh, long um, horizontally there. You do get a nice amount of airflow on this and um, the holes are nice and big enough for your sort of single coil builds to get a decent sized coil in there if you so want. You've got a nice bit of space across here as well to be able to put in a nice chunky bit of wire. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get a build in this and see how she vapes. You do have your nice little grooves on either side here, so you can easily build with it using your coil, coil tool or your uh, screwdriver or what have you. Um, for this build here, I'm going to move over to PC Coils. Oh, Peter sent me some lovely, what are they here? They're a 0.4 ohm single coil diameter 3 mil, 3 times 29, uh, 3 times 29 cores and uh, 1 times 38 Alien Clapton. So essentially, it's a bloody good Alien, and um, I'll be using that on today's build. So, uh, you know, whether you build it upside down, orthodox, unorthodox, whatever bloody way you're going to build it, nobody really gives a shit apart from people with no girlfriends. So I'm just going to slot this first one in here like so. There we go. Look, nice and rough. No fucks given. And then I'm just going to slide this one in here. 
like so. There we go. It's in there ready. I'm just going to get it nice and straight how I want it. There we are. And then we're just going to use our itty bitty flathead screwdriver that I had to search high and low for. And I'm just going to screw them down. One. Because it really is a small flat edge you need for this. And two. I'm just going to shape it a bit. Get it just next to those airflow slots there. And away we go. And we're just going to give it a quick trim. And then we're going to put some cotton in the bastard. But before I put some cotton in the bastard, I'm going to... Um, <laughs> I'm going to pre-light my coil here because I know how much anal you guys are when I don't do this to my coils. So uh, let's just get them nice and shiny all the way from the middle. There we go. Just burning a nice little treat there. Hopefully you're all happy with that. And I can get on with getting a vape done. So once you've got your cotton in, just, you know, stick it down now. That's it. No arm, no foul. Get it looking as nice and as neat as you so desire. Make sure you've got no wispy bits hanging over the side, like Michael Finnegan's chinigan. Now, on a build, you know, 0.4 ohm resistance here, I'm going to be opting for the black Delrin. I'm just going to give it a squonk. As you can see, you go right up there. Nice amount of room. So you're not going to over squonk it. I mean, you can over squonk anything, really, but, I mean, if you try hard enough. But it's such a nice, deep juice well. It's got that little sort of top ledge there on the airflow slots. Provides extra protection so it doesn't all piss out the airflow holes on you. And there we go. Look. Nice and juicy. Said the vicar to the actress. And we're away. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Get your top cap on. Now you can obviously adjust your airflow if you want to a little bit. I mean, pretty much only one way, because if I go the other way, it sort of takes me out of the off. Line them up nice, and then we'll take a vape. Like I said, if you're building a bit higher than that, if you're going to say like 0.8 to 1 ohm or something like that, then uh, opt for the stainless steel. But if you're building a bit hot, if you're building a bit low on that resistance, then uh, you can't go wrong with a bit of Delrin and Autumn in your mouth. One more puff before we move back up top for my final thoughts. Safe. So there you have the Karma or the K-R-M-A or Krma. You know, uh, very, very nice little RDA, especially, you know, mainly designed with uh, squonking in mind. It's got a good aesthetic look. I do like the way the top cap tapers in at the top. Um, you know, do love the fact that you get two um, top caps in the bag, you know, straight away. So you don't have to be saying they're on lists or what have you, trying to get that extra top cap that you so desire. You do get two, obviously, one to cater for lower resistance vaping. You know, if it's getting a bit, a bit hotter, you want to opt for the Delrin with the Ultra drip tip or uh, if you're going for a sort of a higher resistance more sort of a you know a reserved vape friendly higher resistance there around a 0.81 ohm then you'll opt for the stainless steel with the black delrin drip tip you know the deck on it is really really nice you know um I've, I've, I've watched a couple of reviews on it you know and i'm gonna i'm gonna echo what todd said about it nothing's reinventing the wheel um but what they're kind of doing is putting some really nice you know uh nice details onto it you know they're they're, they're grabbing bits from uh, different pieces that work and put it into this one and it's it just works um, you know we've got a really nice deep juice well which I showed you in the close-ups and uh, the fact that you know the uh, have that little ledge on top of the airflow uh, makes it really difficult as well for you to over squonk it and also for you to get sort of like a, any flooding going on it's a, a really nice design there and works well you know um, I'm a, I'm a, a 
t total person for uh, over squonking. Uh, often as hell, I just sit there and end up just pushing the bottle in when I'm watching telly or something, just not even thinking. I'm a bit of a fiddler. So, uh, you know, that works really well for me. You know, nothing fancy about the top caps. There's no reduced chambers or anything um, um, or anything fancy with the top caps themselves. Um, so the magic kind of is in the deck, but it works really, really nice. Now, flavor-wise... Yeah, it's got a really great flavour on it. You know, there's so much out. There's so many different... Uh, I mean, I, I seem to be seeing Atty after Atty after Atty after Atty. So it's really difficult to pinpoint, does it vape like this? Or what can you compare it to that? As a reviewer, you know, I'm sure that many of you out there who do review have that lovely uh, 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 option of, of, of trying to compare things for people when they ask you, is it as good as this? Is it as good as that? And it's a really difficult question to answer. There's so many different variables uh, involved in uh, what makes vape vaping right for you you know um airflow um flavor profiles you know juices you use the builds you use the cotton you use how much wick you use um whether you uh <laughs> pre-flame your coil or not you know things like that so many different variables but all i can tell you is now with all my favorite juices in this it's on par with all the best stuff that that i use you know um it vapes absolutely brilliantly um you've got plenty of airflow for me for you cloud chaser guys not at all you know you do have like sort of like a, a four mil um, horizontal airflow uh, slot in there with about a two mil wide so it's not massive amount it's just enough it is more for a sort of restricted lung um, airflow on this one it's a gentleman's vape how about that yeah it's a gentleman's vape you know, but the key point of this, which I'm going to go back to again, is the fact that, you know, the way that the, the, the leaking is uh, and the oversquonking is, it's bare minimum, you know, unless you're really trying to do it, then uh, you're going to have uh, no issues with uh, oversquonking on this or leaking as well. The, the actual design of the airflow inside um, on the deck as well has been done so well uh, that it's really nice. You've got plenty of room in there for a nice big build, as I showed you on the close up. I don't think you can see it, um, but still, you know, and uh, it's got us a really good really good uh, connection on those wires the only thing i don't like about it and it's, it's a niggle it's a niggle which can be changed easily um you know is i don't like flathead screws especially those little tiny flathead screws because i'm constantly searching around for the smallest flathead screwdriver that i can find and half the bloody time i haven't got one because not many um atomizers use that method of pinching your coil legs you know we're all the allen key sort of the allen key sort of era at the moment you know the allen key generation so, uh, you know, that's the only downside to it. I much pre preferred um, to have the sort of grub screws with a provided Allen key. That would have uh, would have been a bit better for me. But uh, once again, it's a tiny, tiny little niggle. And this is a sub £100. You know, quite a bit sub £100. Um, I think you can get it from 4D Vape Co at £80. You know, and that's a, a really good price for an atomizer like this. Uh, build quality like this. Vape like this. Dual top caps straight off, out of the bag you know nice presentation you do get some spares you do have uh, that little grub screw on the bottom as well to be able to plug it up if you just want to use it for a dripper pretty much it's a uh, lock and load ready to play straight out of the little body bag that it comes in and um, you know for 80 pounds I think it's an absolute steal it does vape nice you can have a lot of options to build in it in a single coil um, single coil setting of course and uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm quite over the moon with it um, you know I can see what all the uh, hype was about you know price wise price point wise plus what you get plus how it vapes plus how easy it is to build on and plus the fact that you have that really nice deep juice well with that airflow uh, that airflow ledges at the top that reduces over uh, over squonking and reduces flooding um, which makes it a really really tasty um, rda for the squonker um, and of course for your standard rda fan Now, to get one, there's no list situation with this. They are available online. All you have to do is search the KRMR, KRMA online and you'll see a plethora of shops probably in your uh, region to, um, to buy from. I know Dean at 4D Vape Co. has them coming out this weekend, I believe. Um, so uh, pre-order there. I know, you know, some people are like, pre-order, but, you know, it depends how many you're getting in. And, uh, you know, he wants to be able to provide them for, for his customers. So uh, log into uh, his website. I'll put the link in the description for um, for, for Dean's uh, company there. You can take a look. Quite a new company as well. So give him your support. He's a great guy. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be able to get one of these, no problem. And uh, for that price and for everything you get, um, I would highly, highly recommend the KR. RMA from Mission 
XV or 15 or Karma or Krama, whatever you want to call it. So thank you very much for watching this review and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.